hello and welcome to our youtube page as you can see in here we are going to share with you all tools. our tools absolutely right from so, a massive light to a little phone so all of this is i include in our tools that we use to make our video and as you know we usually do a lot of videos with trains so and today we're gonna make it special because one of our subscribers asked us to what tools we use to make it. so we could show and share with you what equipment that we use so in this case we're gonna start with the, the one that is most used so we're gonna start with the our that is the mobile phone that we use so our phone basically we use our phone mainly to do the videos so we use our wipe P30 Pro, you should say, I'm here, absolutely. So today we are using another phone to use to do the videos. I don't know if the quality is going to be as good as the P30 Pro, but we're going to do our best to keep it nice and smooth. So what are we going to do? What are we going to show you next? What do you think we should show next? Should we show by the most important to the least important? And let's see. Okay, we start with the phone. So let's go for the lights. So the light is another imp very important thing that we use. And this is an amazing light because we do mainly our videos indoor. And most of them we need a good quality light. And this is the perfect match. Yeah, perfect match. So we're going to show you how does it look like because we're going to open up the lights so we're going to unbox so you get to see exactly what comes inside it's an amazing tool so it comes in a very big box and we are so happy to open this amazing box to share with you what comes inside as you can see in here it's huge and it's yeah. it is a set of lights that comes on it and it comes the cable and the support and so on let's show you exactly what does it look like as you can see in here the light we just set it up it comes with a good set of tripod and very very good very bright so basically we can change the brightness of the lights and the color to make more friendly so basically we use that to make our videos as you can see that is our tools and we're gonna show you it's like on the table because also we use the table so we use the table as you can see in here to make it so you can see how much that we kind of change the color on the table so that the train when it rolls it looks awesome so here's the lights and with this you can dim it there's a good setting or you can change the color. It's awesome. So that is another main tool that we use. The tripod can elevate and very good, very well supported. So let's see what else that we have in here that you would like to know. Okay, the next one, we're gonna show you another small piece of art that we use. Oh no, it's dropping. So that is basically our monkey tripod. So why do we call it monkey tripod? Because you can, can just anyway. put it on someone's hand. We can even okay, so we're going to show you how do we use a monkey tripod. So basically it can be attached a mailing to almost anything that you want it to be. So you just adjust in here. So attach and then we're just going to put the mobile phone attached and it holds us. And then so we can film in different positions, which make it so special. So let's go to the next. The next we use this amazing tripod. Because, yeah, so we use this amazing tripod for many reasons. Because it can go low. Or high. Or high. And then you can adjust it. Not as, much, not as flexible as the monkey tripod. But we use it a lot. Especially if we do videos in, indoors and sometimes outside. So we got the next one. Which is make it slight, slight better. So the neck is this amazing tripod. It's slight higher than the one that I just showed you. Because, but it's still very useful for when we are doing the video. Because we can raise it a little bit more or keep it. 
because cool. as you can see we do the videos make it face up like yes that. or down because we do, we do most of our videos facing down doing a, imagine if you were doing a video of the train coming so as you can see in here we got the video the camera so we cannot put use the tripod and so as the as the train keep coming so we kind of filming so that gives a very good spot next tool that we want to share with you is our GoPro GoPro so we use the GoPro quite often especially that we have to, when we have to do the videos under the water it comes with a very good quality and yeah black eight the black eight so we are planning to do a live stream because it has a very good capability or apps to do a live stream straight away from the from the gopro which is make it so special so yeah. that's our tool another tool that we use so we're gonna move on to the next tool i mean sometimes we use this camera it's still old but we still use it basically we use mainly if we have to do a video with two or three different cameras at same simultaneously so which make it easier for us to record different angle at the same time especially if we do videos outdoors that is an excellent one because it helps a lot to do this and the next we want to share with you this is also part of the gopro what do we do we adapt this on top and then we can put like a camera so it becomes very low to the ground and we can put this phone on it and we have put the phone on it so it becomes very low and practical to the ground this is another tool that we use so we we can attach to the table and put the camera becomes so easy easy to control next i can next. see that you are so eager to show us something the like thing which you can turn it on and then you can control it from this tiny joystick so it's uh, our uh, joystick so we are going to share with you our joystick so basically that keeps like a help or special when we are doing the video with the with the trains that we need to control and keep it smooth so when we are doing the video we kind of control it to keep it nice and smooth and it looks like we're filming from a drone or helicopter absolutely and make it look so good and as you can see we can manage or manage yeah up and down it. and all it's like 360 all sorts of positions which make it our train to look so so beautiful so now we are going to share with you another tool that we have so the next tool that we are going to share with you is our i don't know how to call it by kind of like a slow motion stuff that we I completely forgot the name but we use that to do like a very good motion yeah, control so because it can go the same speed as our train absolutely so we've got this little remote control so as you can see in here so we use this tool and one of the good things about this phone that i like is that we can change the brightness just on the phone independently of the lights it still gives a good control let's go back to the main part that we want to show you so, so we just turn it on and yeah. then there's this button so we change direction and then we add speed and then we can turn it and we can speed it up a bit more yeah so which make it easier so this we can see the speed look that's one two three that's maximum so and then we just turn it off with this we, little switch or we can turn the wheels to make it go around which make it so, so special to turn it like this and to charge it you've got this usb plug absolutely right so we are going to show you the next amazing tool which is 
Well, it's gonna be, yes, that is the way it turns. That's awesome. We're gonna put the links and the names on the description. If you are interested, you can always just press on the link and we're gonna take you to the right place where we bought them. And then I'm so excited because I use this tripod all, uh, the, time. all the time. Even that is one of the main tri tripods that we use. So as you can see in here, we got a tripod. Basically, the good advantage of this tripod is that we can change the direction of the things when we are recording. So we can rotate, we can adjust. Yeah. It's very easy to manage. And it can go super high. Yeah, so we can adjust and we can rotate, we can push forward. Yeah. Backwards and here on the legs, we can make it higher. Or so, yes, yeah, very practical because we can always extend and the, we still have the dimension for the wheel and we can rotate for an angle, which makes it so super, super cool. So, I am so excited because we are going to share with you another very good tool that we use. Basically, it's like a robot. So now, as you can see in here, we are just setting up this amazing. So it can basically go like that. So basically what we do, we usually put the camera on top of okay, this like and we just extend it and make it just practical. So that when we do the video, we can move in different directions at the same time without have to, or even can make it flat, can almost even. flat. And then just slowly raise it or bend it. And it can even turn. Turn 360 degrees, which makes it so much more fun for what we want to do. Okay, I think someone wants to show us something. Tell me. It's very small, but it's a remote control which controls the camera. So we've got film, switch camera to like yourself, photo, zoom in out and zoom in awesome so we use this remote control for the video if i am doing the video by myself or if you are doing the video by yourself you can just control this while you in control of the train yeah so you just press on there yeah so there's another tool that i want to share with you i think that's gonna be probably the last one that we use and you're gonna see on this side and basically that is another tripod that we use and as you can see in here so let me sh change the light bring the light the big light that we have to this side so that we can see that it gives a very good brightness so we use this one also but as you can see we have the adaptation to move accordingly which gives a great flexibility and a good light the, the good part of this one is slightly smaller and still gives a good brightness but this one is awesome it's just and with both of them we can put this little thing so this. that we can attach the phone in the middle in the middle so this adapter to make yeah. it a video special and super cool Hope you enjoy to know all of our equipments and tools, especially the light that we use. As you can see, gives a very good brightness. If I uh, change the color or I can dim, you probably will notice the difference. So it's dimmed. Now it's, it's less not light, bright. not as bright. But if we put the camera in the middle and bring it up, so you can see the difference and the good thing also is the flexible because you can always adjust in here and make it super cool okay bye so i hope you enjoy to know all of our tools and please subscribe to our channel and leave your comment below thank you very much for watching and here is the our main tools that we use for our videos and the equipments thank you for watching and please subscribe and leave your comment below please like it if you can absolutely